from Arizona Theater Company. Welcome to the new Hangin' Focus. Join us every Friday to see our return to live theater. From the first rehearsal to opening night, you don't want to miss what's happening behind the scenes of our upcoming productions. This week, we prepare for the opening night, tonight, of My 80-Year-Old Boyfriend in Tucson at the Temple of Music and Art, ATC's first live production in 18 months. And always the curtain will fall, the story will have ended, and we actors will take our bows. House lights up, it's over. We can all go home now. But something has changed. Tinkerbell has lived. Cinderella has found her prince. You will go back to your real world, and it will still be raw and painful. Ugly, even. But maybe a little less so, because of what you've seen here today. Harmony and happiness were possible. I'm Olsen Torres. I am the assistant stage manager on 80-Year-Old Boyfriend. That's wonderful. And we are asking all of our friends here at Arizona Theatre Company, what is an unlikely friendship that you have with someone? And tell us a little bit about it. Okay, um, the person who comes to mind is my mom. Um, it's not that unlikely that we're related, but we have a really close friendship. Um, and I think it's very special. Um, she grew up in a totally different world from me. She was born in South America in Colombia and she moved to the States in the 80s. Um, whereas I'm a millennial who <laughs> grew up here. Um, I'm queer and I have radical politics and there have been so many times in my life where my mom is just like, who are you, what are you? Um, and somehow we still find each other and see each other and understand each other and we're living together right now and it's extremely special it's a sweet little moment in time where we're sharing a home and we're so different and the place where we meet is in our sense of humor um she always speaks to me in spanish and i respond to her in english it's been that way my whole life i learn spanish from her she learns english from me and somehow in the middle of the two languages, we just like laugh and laugh and laugh and have so much fun. And I'm really grateful for it. My name is Dominic Ruggiero and I'm the stage manager for uh, my 80 year old boyfriend. What is an unlikely friendship that you have cultivated that you'd no, like I to share with us today? <laughs> Actually, there's gonna be sort of two there. Um, many, many, many years ago, I was directing a production of Into the Woods. Uh, and I met a friend uh, or an actor in that production who was hired by the local producer there. His name was Jack Taylor, and it was a very tall, handsome man. He played um, Cinderella's dad, which has like three lines on the show. Uh, <laughs> but he had this deep voice that was like, that's a voice you want to listen to. Uh, and it just was commanding. We became dear friends in that production, and then he asked me to do a production of romance romance at a theater that he was uh, creating in Sarasota. From that moment on till uh, for many, many years, we became dear friends. Uh, I was a young man, this was an older gentleman. Uh, I went to Florida, stayed at his house, worked at his theater. Uh, then when I moved to Florida, because of him, he called me up one day in New York and said, Dom, 
I found you a place in Glen Oaks Manor where I am, and all you gotta bring is your toothbrush. I said, Jack, he says, seriously, I said, does it have a pool? He says, of course it has a pool. <laughs> I said, all right, you know what? Let me get on a flight and let me go down to Florida. And uh, I was there for three days and came back with a house. Because of this man, uh, then as years went on, I moved to Florida. I was gonna start a theater group there that sort of didn't work out. But Jack and I became really good friends and he introduced me to another friend called Bob. And that's gonna be the last part of the story. Um, as I lived there, um, Jack became older and ill. And I actually took care of him for the last five years of his life. Um, dear friend, it was like my dad. Uh, and I was there at his death because he had no family. Mm. I was there with him and was for his last moments. And it was one of the most beautiful things I've ever experienced. Also sad, but just very beautiful and peaceful. And Bob, who I met through Jack, we then became really close friends, another old gentleman. And again, the same situation happened many, many years ago when he had no family. And I was with him on his final moments in the hospital. So I had two friendships that would never have happened if I didn't do that production of Into the Woods and met this man with the deep voice. <laughs> and because of that, I'm so much richer because those, those two guys are really important to me. And Jack's remains are in my home in Florida in an urn. Yes, because he had no family. So I kept him and he sits on there. Every time I come home, I go, hey, Jack, how you doing today? And Jack is living in, in my house with me. That so is that's the, that's the uh, unlikely two friendships. Welcome to the call board for October 1st to October 7th, 2021. Hello, I'm Director of Digital Assets, Alex Hollis, and thank you so much for joining us today. Be sure to join us next Friday at 4 p.m. Arizona time for another episode of the new Hang and Focus. Now let's hear from the Education Station. Hello, everyone. This is Chris Mosley, the Education Director at ATC. The Education Department is growing, and I am very happy to introduce to you our new team member. Emily, take it away. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Burrett, the new Education Outreach Coordinator here at Arizona Theater Company. I'm just coming off of teaching full-time theater and youth directing. I'm so excited for this opportunity to help grow the education department at ATC. I'm just a few weeks into this position and I've just been blown away by the professionalism and collaborative spirit of this company. As Outreach Coordinator, I'm working directly with teachers, schools, and community contacts to further and deepen the impact that ATC is able to have in our community. We're in the midst of restructuring some favorite programs and even have some brand new exciting projects in the works. Check out the education page of our website for updates, or you can email us at education at atc.org. Now let's hear from the Giving Corner. Take it away, development. On today's Giving Corner, we would like to thank United Healthcare for their support to ATC as our Phoenix production sponsor of My 80-Year-Old Boyfriend. United Healthcare provides grants to local and national organizations and invests in many causes, including the performing arts. Thank you, United Healthcare, for all your support throughout the years. We truly appreciate you, and we'll see you all at the theater very soon. Now let's see what some of our community partners are up to this week. In Phoenix, Southwest Shakespeare is bringing us Legends of the Werewolf. This in-person event will be available through October 15th. To purchase tickets, visit swshakespeare.org. ASU Theater, Music, and Opera is bringing us the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee through October 3rd. For more information, visit musicdancetheater.asu.edu slash events. In Tucson, the University of Arizona Poetry Center is bringing us Inflection Points, a discussion on how poems can prompt shifts in perception when retold in another language. This online event will be presented on October 5th at 4 p.m. Arizona time. You can learn more at poetry.arizona.edu. 17th Annual Tucson Film and Music Festival will be held this weekend from October 1st to October 3rd at the Screening Room in downtown Tucson. To learn more, visit Tucson Film and Music festival.com and if you enjoyed today's conversation please tell a friend pass it along like us on facebook and instagram subscribe to us on youtube ring that bell so you can be notified when we post have a great weekend everyone and we look forward to seeing you next week